Okay, pages 58 and 59 is what we're on. They should be in your slide presentation. Um, and we're going to begin reading, so just go ahead and follow along. You can read with me if you want to. The river was low, and the men had, a, had to pull much of the way. When they weren't pulling, they were digging channels for our boat or hiring oxen to pull the boat from the shore. Okay, so it says the river the river was low and the men had to pull much of the way. What do you think pull means by this sentence? Pause the video and kind of reread that and look at it. And what do you think pull means? Okay, well, they're in a river, right? And they're moving. So when they weren't pulling, they were digging channels for our boat or hiring oxen to pull the boat from the shore. So I'm going to guess pulling is a way to move the boat or maybe to paddle the boat. So the river was low and the men had to pull much of the way. So they had to somehow make this boat move. And um, in, order, in order to do that, they were probably like paddling in a certain way. Okay, so let's move on and continue reading. We were only a couple of weeks down the river when I had my first great day of hunting. The river wasn't quite as shallow and the current not too strong. So the crew rowed along leisurely. Okay, let's look at this verb here. Remember a verb is an action word. So let's reread that last sentence in that paragraph. And let's really look at the verb rowed, okay? Because you can row something, right? The river wasn't quite as shallow and the current not too strong. So the crew rowed along leisurely, okay? So that, whenever we look at that ED word, that past tense of row, that means they did it in the past, right? So a lot of our verbs that you've been having on, um, on your practice verb sheets from last week, they were in past tense, okay? So because right now you can't road something, okay? But you can row something. So you have to make sure that you're looking at that in the present tense whenever you're identifying whether you can do it or not. Okay, but this verb, it is a verb because you can row something but it's in the past tense, okay? So I just wanted to point that out to you since we're le learning about verbs. Okay, so um, the river wasn't quite as shallow and the current not too strong. So the crew rode along leisurely. So leisurely means slowly. I was lying on the back deck of the boat. I had just scanned the shore. Nothing of interest, just a few beaver and a deer. I decided to close my eyes for a nap. I blinked a few times and was ready to lay my head on my paws when something on the water up ahead caught my eye. I stuck my nose in the air and sniffed. I recognized the scent immediately. Squirrel. A squirrel on water? That was unusual. I had seen plenty of squirrels, but I had never seen one swim. There was something else strange. The smell of a squirrel was especially strong. I had never known one squirrel to protect so, to pro project so powerful a scent. I stood to look to take a look. Right away, I spotted a squirrel off the starboard side. He was swimming across the river. Another squirrel followed close behind. Without a second thought, I leaned over the side of the boat to get a better look. I saw another squirrel and another. I could not believe my eyes. Hundreds of squirrels were crossing the river. The water up ahead was almost black with them. Every muscle in my body tightened to full alert. Lewis was on the other side of the boat, talking to two of the men. I turned to him and barked. What is it? He asked. It is impossible to describe the urge I felt. It was as strong as anything I had ever known. I had to get those squirrels. I barked again. Lewis scanned the water ahead. Look at that, he said to the men. Squirrels crossing the river. Now, why would they do that? Food, one man suggested. Lewis paused for a moment. There are hickory nuts on both banks. Migrating, suggested the other. Now remember, migrating is moving because of the temperature change, right? The um, season changes. Uh, migrating suggested the other. Lewis nodded. Maybe. Or perhaps there. I barked again. They were wasting time wondering why these squirrels were crossing. It didn't matter. 
The squirrels were there, hundreds of them, right in front of us. Sometimes men spent too much time thinking. They missed the fun of life. Okay, so um, first of all, I want to ask you, what do you think about Seaman, which is the dog? I'm reminding you about that. Um, what do you think about Seaman's instinct for hunting? Okay, what kind of hunter do you think he is? Go ahead and pause the video, think about it, and then we'll, we'll talk about it too. Okay, so there's a lot of evidence in this story to show that Seaman is a really good hunter. So we can go back in the story and look. First of all, in that first paragraph, it says, I stuck my nose in the air and sniffed. I recognized the scent immediately. Squirrel. So all of a sudden, he was laying down on the deck, right? He was laying down on the boat, and he smelled the scent, okay? So he popped right up, and immediately he knew it was squirrel. So we can tell right there that he's a good hunter. He has a really good nose on him, right? And good dogs, um, dogs that are good hunters have really good noses because they can sniff that out. Um, and then we can also see that he's a good hunter because, so he saw all these squirrels and it says in that, let me, let me count down one, two, three, four, that fourth paragraph down, it says every muscle in my body tightened to full alert because he's ready to get those squirrels. Okay. He's ready to go hunting and get them. Okay. So that is another example of how, um, this dog is a really good hunter, or he has really good hunting instincts. Um, and then it says he also barked at them, and he was just ready to get them, okay? Now, um, I want to point this out, too. At that last paragraph, it says, I barked again. They were wasting time wondering why the squirrels were crossing. It didn't matter. The squirrels were there, hundreds of them, right in front of us. Sometimes. This is your 225 announcement. Please make sure you're moving to your buses at this time. Please start moving to the bus areas. Sometimes men spend too much time thinking they miss the fun of life. So this is kind of like his dog personality coming out in him. He's having these thoughts like a human would, right? But he's thinking like a dog. These men um, are wasting time wondering such a silly question. Why don't they just have fun in life? And he wants to go get these squirrels, okay? So this really shows that um, his personality of a dog and just the thoughts of him having um, our human thoughts, but he's still having those dog thoughts too. So it kind of just shows that. Um, go ahead and go to the next slide and we will go over the next two pages.